I want you to remember your last holidays abroad. The beautiful time you had with your friends, with your families, the astonishing places you have visited. Now please raise your hand if you have rented a car during those holidays. Yeah. Look around. These are the people who might use your integrated solutions in the very near future. My name is Robertus. I'm the product owner for CAN devices. And I will show you components. How can you win car sharing and rental markets? So let's start with some numbers. Two euros per hour. That is the average cost of parking in European Union. Not that bad, you would say, although it goes all the way up to eight and a half euros in some of the busiest areas in Europe, such as central London. Has anyone paid like overpriced fee for parking? Yeah, it's always too much. Getting more into future, in 2027, there's gonna be a 270 million users of car sharing services who's gonna be served by almost 1 million cars. Now just let's pause for a second. Almost 1 million cars. These are the vehicles that's gonna need tracking, remote access, and you can be the integrators into these vehicles. Jumping more into rental services, Last year, it was valued at $91 billion. And just three years away from now, it is going to be $124 billion. And not only the numbers show us the potential of this market, but also some global initiatives. Vilnius has recently launched an initiative called Leave Your Car in a Special Parking Lot. Even though it's only the 39th city by its population in European Union, it is already facing some challenges with heavy traffic. And the traffic in other major cities, of course, are just next level. Going a little bit further from Lithuania, in Italy, which was mentioned before, yeah. <laughs> it has some limitations for private uh, vehicles in some of historic centers. Uh, in cities such as Rome, Florence, Milan, and some others. The third example is Dubai that has recently signed a clean air cities declaration to reduce air pollution. And as you might know, cars are one of the biggest polluters in such areas. So I cannot stretch enough the potential of this market. I feel this personally here in Teltonica, and I want to transfer this field to you. So the, what, the question is, what should you do to get into this business? So let's start with the first component, which is you should know your customer. And to understand the customer, you should focus on a few key parameters. It is a fleet size, vehicle types and geographic presence. And to illustrate it better, I have prepared a few examples here. So the first one is a well-known rental company, which is called Sixth. It has 169,000 vehicles in their fleet. And last year, it has signed a contract with Stellantis to purchase 250,000 vehicles in two years from PSA Group. This is a worldwide company with more than 2,000 locations in more than 100 countries. But if this is a way out of your league, I have another exam example, which is a German company called Miles, which has 16,000 vehicles in their fleet. It has a partnership with Volkswagen Group. That's why more than 60% of its cars are from Volkswagen. And it is based in 11 German and 3 Belgium cities. But the third example is really special. It is an Italian brand Enjoy with 2,600 vehicles. 
It is spread across 35 ponds in Italy. But what is really special here, it has only two models, Fiat 500 and Fiat Doblo. So this shows you that even with two models, you can serve companies as this. And when you know the profile of your customer, you should know what such companies as six or miles could expect from you. So first of all, customer wants to understand the vehicle health status and to do timely maintenance to save money in the long term. I bet you've seen those nicely looking apps for car sharing to see the vehicle status or to do remote access to the vehicle. Customer also wants to understand the usage trends and to know how to optimize their business. And of course, it cannot be done without data analytics and reports. And finally, every customer wants to grow. That's why they need a solution for these specific requirements that will allow them to scale and use some customization there. And when you know your customer, it is a good time to prepare your own business. Is anyone still using those good old to-do lists these days? Okay, I'm not the only one, thanks. <laughs> that is why we prepared you a to-do list. What should you do to fulfill the needs of your customers? So to offer an extensive vehicle support, customization for end users, or to provide a timely support, these are just a few items on the list. And at the end of the day, your full preparation comes to the final touch which is a suitable hardware. And for that, you need a reliable partner. But the good thing is that you're one step ahead of your competitors because you're here with us, with Toltonica. And I didn't come here to tell you about some standard approach, which is obvious in the market. Majority of integrators use parameters such as mileage, vehicle speed, fuel level, However, to help you stand out and offer extra value, I've prepared some advanced parameters and I'll show you a few examples how can you utilize these. Imagine you're a fleet owner. You see a vehicle that is stopped for two weeks and it hasn't moved. Why hasn't it moved? Is it parked in a private parking? Is it parked in some inaccessible area? You have lost at least 40 euros per day, which comes to 600 euros in those two weeks just for a single car. And remember the examples I show you, like the miles with 16,000 vehicles in their fleet. The cost in the long term and the losses might be just enormous. But it turns out the car had just a flat tire. And you could saw that if you had just a few diagnostic parameters on this vehicle. Do you know that excitement when your watch says that you finally reached the step goal for today? Or that you have finally slept those eight hours uh, a night. You could also provide this satisfying feeling to your end users by integrating some scoring uh, or gamification features. So you can increase the satisfaction and engagement of the end users, which will increase the usage of the services which will increase the need for the service and finally you could also measure the fatigue of the driver on those long trips by reading lane departures brake pressure road sign recognition you could not only see the report after the trip but also to send some alerts 
to help driver avoid some major accidents during nice holidays and those uh, road trips. And here are just a few examples how these parameters can be utilized. And the rest is up to your imagination. And when you know your customer, when you prepare your business, and you have a reliable partner, you can win car sharing and rental markets. And I encourage you to do that together with us, Peltonica. So next time I go on holidays, I use one of your integrated solutions.